Hey friend, welcome to the Badass is the New Black podcast, where our motto is done is better than perfect. I'm Chrissy Chin, here on a mission to help you grow your business online, turn your leads into lifelong customers, and scale to six figures and beyond so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more. Most importantly, I'm a laid back wife, a mom, a friend who started as a peds nurse, turned network marketer, and now a serial entrepreneur. This podcast is for ambitious people with an idea, a vision, but no idea how to get there. On this podcast, I'll give actionable steps to keep you moving forward while you learn new business strategies, better systems and processes, marketing, sales, all the things you need to build and scale a blissful business that keeps your pocketbooks growing. Grab a beverage, open up your notes app, and let's get to it. So excited to welcome Sally Arias. She's the founder of Grown Ass Business and is a growth strategist and a mindset coach who helps ambitious and busy entrepreneurs finally stop flying by the seat of their pants with a unique approach to mastering the fundamental business, building blocks, systems, and strategies that will transform them into a world-class seven-figure CEO. Sally, welcome. I'm so excited you're here on the podcast. Thank you. I'm excited to be here with you. Thanks for having me. Yes. Okay. Y'all who are listening, I met Sally and same as Belinda, who we had in the month before in the Mixer Mind. So we've been getting to know each other over the last year. And it's just been really fun to, you know, get to know you, see how you serve your people. And it was just like when we came up with this series, I was like, I have got to have Sally come in and talk about what she talks about because there is such a need in the space for this. And I'm really excited about the topic. So why don't you just dive in a little bit and get the audience uh, a little bit of a background, maybe where you came from, kind of how you got into doing what you're doing now. Sure. Um, well, how I got into this, I, I, I say I've been an entrepreneur since I was 10, because I think that's really true. And when I was 10, I really wanted to take ballet and my parents couldn't afford for me to take ballet. And so I was like, I'm going to figure out a way to make money. And I started my first business and I, I had like a very serious babysitting whole business. I wasn't just like a babysitter. I had like created a whole business around it and ran that basically all through middle school and high school. And I bought my first, I did go and sign up for ballet. I actually became a professional dancer. I bought my first car thanks to my business. Um, I also, yeah, I was a, that weird kid that liked to figure things out. So that's kind of where that started. I have four degrees. I've had several career pivots in my life. And regardless, I've always been entrepreneurial. And that just means I like to solve things in an uncommon way. I like to fix things. I like to change the way we do things, right? Um, and I don't really like to just always follow the rules. And that just means I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I started a fashion label in my 20s when I lived back in Argentina. I ran that company for like nine years. Actually, I like to say I that company ran me. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly how we want it to have happen. <laughs> um, and I learned a lot. And then I got an MBA in New York and went into startup world and corporate world. And I saw a lot of different scenarios where businesses are running the people rather than the people running the businesses. So I got more and more interested in that. And over time I started coaching and consulting on the side and then left my COO position to be a full-time business coach. And I've been a head coach at a coaching firm for some time. And now I created my own frameworks. Um, and that is what is called the grown ass business because in my frameworks over time, what I discovered is, Yes, you need all the business pieces and you need strategy and you need to understand how business works and how things come together. And you also do need mindset and you need to address the mindset of being the business owner and all the stuff that comes up along the way. So mm -hmm. what I do is I incorporate both in my framework. Yeah, I love it. It's like a 40 year career mate, you know, told in two minutes. So I <laughs> love it. I love it. No, and I think that's why we connected really well is because I also am heavy on mindset. Like yeah. it is key, like love strategy can get into strategy and talk about that all day long. But what I also find is that so many people are struggling with the mindset that's really holding them back and blocking them. So really you can't do one well without the other. 
like, and you know, vice versa and whatnot. So, you know, I love that you bring that aspect into, you know, your coaching as well with like a, like a good focus on mindset as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I've coached probably over 200 businesses now at this point. And I don't mean people who run through my programs or people who buy my products. I mean, one-on-one have coached. And over time, what I experienced was I could give you the, the exact, here's what's next. Here's what needs to happen. Here's the action plan. Here's the strategy. Here's how, here's the strategy for you. Here's what we're doing. I can give you all that, lay it all out, create the dashboards, all the things. And I discovered over years that if the person has some mindset things, they're not going to necessarily take action on the strategy plan. So Mm -hmm. that's when I decided there's something here that I also need to address because I had some clients that would come to me week over week and they weren't taking the action or doing the thing, or they were half-assing it, you know, and I was like, what is that? What is that about? And so that's when I kind of went and trained and incorporated that. Yeah. Yeah. I just re- distinctly remember being on a coaching call with a, a student like to, to back this up and wasn't making any sales, like was struggling. It's was like, I just don't know what I'm doing. And then come to find out she had incredible blocks around sales and was just like hated sales, thought sales was sleazy and like, didn't want to be that sleazy salesperson. And I was like, okay, yeah, you're never going to make a sale until we get to the bottom of this. And really like going back to even looking at childhood, like what's the, when did you have a bad sales experience? Like, let's talk about it because this is clearly affecting you. And if one, if we don't get past this, then you're not going to make any sales. So yeah, just it's, it's shocking almost that really, if we like address the mindset stuff, how much more successful we can get into business. But that's not really what our uh, training is going to be about. It's not mindset, even though it's such a great topic. I'm sure you'll be like, you know, weaving some mindset into your your framework there. But the training that you're doing is called The Money's on the Table. And this training is happening in our Access the Expert series. So if you're listening and you haven't been able to participate or you're first hearing about this this series, we're bringing in experts every single month to do an in-depth training. World of class. I mean, you just heard Sally's experience like to be able to get in the room with her and learn from her is, you know, invaluable and you're able to come live for free. So we'll put the link in the show notes in the description on YouTube, or you can go to the chrissychin.com forward slash access the experts and sign up for the training. But let's dive into a little bit about what this training is going to be about and why someone really should show up. I, I think in the subject line to, um, to promote this, I put you're using your CRM system the wrong way. And uh, because I know that's one of the pieces kind of that we're going to dive into. But let's talk about like, the money is on the table. Like, what is this? What is this training going to be about? And why would I want to come? Yeah, so this is I'm I'm basically going to give you guys a piece of um, one of the tools I use inside the grown ass business, um, the CEO control center that I've built for my for my clients. And this is a training all about understanding how to really use a sales pipeline. What what is a sales pipeline really? What is a pipeline? Where are your leads? Where are your leads living? Are you tracking them? Are you tagging them? Do you know where they are in their journey? And and if you have a CRM, how are you using it? to actually track leads in the way that you would be tracking leads if you had a sales pipeline. So I say this to say, because I learned this when I was doing corporate sales. I learned, and it doesn't have to be fancy, even in corporate sales, we had big, big, long Excel sheets, even though we had access to fancy CRMs, even the CRMs couldn't actually pull the data that we needed. And so we had these big Excel sheets. So I've created a version of that for my clients. What I learned was you need to know where all your leads are. You need to have data about them. But a CRM isn't just where I go to email my clients. It's where I go to understand where my leads are in the journey. Do you know how many leads are just a fresh lead in your world? Do you know how many of them have actually taken an action? Did they download the thing? Did they get on your newsletter? Did they click a button? Did they open a page? 
Did they actually ever book a call, right? Have they booked a call and then decided, no, maybe I'm for later, or they booked a call and they received an offer? Are they in like a waiting zone? Did they book a call and sign up? Do That's a pipeline. A pipeline is understanding at what stage your leads are in of your sales journey. And a lot of people are using a CRM. What I, what I learned when I moved into like coaching online business, because I come from physical goods, product business manufacturing and supply mm-hmm. chain and all that, I learned that a lot of online businesses are using a CRM just as an email management tool for newsletters and communication, but they're not using the CRM to actually understand sales pipeline and where mm-hmm. are my people and are there actually people in my pipeline that are worth money and I'm not following up with them because I'm only here just emailing them every week. Yeah. So yeah, I, and I would do this training with like, where is your money? <laughs> because the truth is you're con- a lot of my clients come to me and they always just say, I just need more leads. You know what? If I had more leads, I'd be fine. If I had more leads, I'd be making this much. I just need more leads. And mm-hmm. and the reason we say I just need more leads is because we're like, I just need to do more marketing. I just need to do more marketing. I just need to do more marketing because that's a lot of what the industry is telling us. And that's what we're being sold a lot is we're being sold more marketing programs and more marketing courses and more social media tips and tricks. But a lot of times there's leads in your world mm-hmm. that you are sitting on that are probably further along in the journey than others. And that means they are worth, they have a value to their name. They're worth some money. And so that's why you're probably sitting on money and you don't know it because you're so worried about just getting more leads Mm -hmm. rather than nurturing and taking care of the leads that are in your world right now. Yeah. I think you hit the nail on the, on the head that the CRM. So if you're not familiar with CRM, it's your, it's your email management system, your client relation management system. And, and people are using that to email to communicate, to connect. And while yes, you do need to use it for that, I think that you just, you hit the nail on the head that there's so much more you can be leveraging to see what money is still on the table because there's money on the table um, and be able to tap into that. And and I'm excited um, to just be able to listen to this training as well. Like for my own personal growth as a business owner, I've been in business for years and always have, you know, big dreams about like how, you know, analytical and and data driven I'm going to get in the email list. I think we, we like keep maxing out our tags (laughs) in Kajabi. They're like, no more tags. So like I'm tagging people, but then it's almost like, and maybe someone out there can relate that you almost get frozen or you're like, okay, but like now what do I do? Or how do I really keep track of this? Unless your CRM system, like can pull this all this data for you and just like hand it to you on a silver platter, it can be really overwhelming as a newer business owner or an inexperienced business owner or a creative business owner that is a little bit afraid of numbers and analytics and all of that. So, you know, also why I wanted to bring you in is because like you said, like you create these dashboards that I, I think from my understanding makes it so much easier to know like, what numbers should I be looking for? How do I find them? Plug them in here. And it's going to like, tell me what I need to know to yeah. see where the money is sitting and then how to access that money. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I think sometimes we use these really cool tools like Kajabi or different CRMs and it's really, really cool and also overwhelming. And then we have all this data and we might even believe we have all this data, but if we're actually not looking at the data we need to be looking at, which can be much simpler than those tools make it, we don't really know what we're doing with that data. And we're not using that information to make decisions. And I always say, for me, being a great entrepreneur is just being somebody who makes empowered decisions. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's Mm -hmm. the big secret, right? Is do you spin out when you need to make a decision because you don't know what to do next, what program to take, who to listen to, who to trust, what to try. Do you stall because you don't really know what's right for you? Or do you know how to look at your business and look at the data you need to look at and go, cool, okay, so next email, we need to do this. And next campaign, we need to change that. And next launch, we need to change, you know, shift this a little bit, right? Or, oh, that sounds like an amazing program, but I don't need it right now. My clients have have this joke where um, some of my clients say they have the, I don't need it bucket in their life now 
because they'll get sold things and advertise things or told they should be doing things. You should write a best selling book. You should start a podcast. You should mm -hmm. do a BSL. You should do, right? And they go, oh, that's cool. That goes in my I don't need it bucket. And that's the difference between a great entrepreneur and a entrepreneur that's just trying a bunch of different things until something sticks. The difference is, are you empowered to make decisions that you feel really good about, that you feel confident about, and that allows you just to keep moving? So that's what we're going to get into. And um, what's fun about this particular training and this tool is a lot of times if you just fill it out, you're going to start seeing, because what it does is it calculates the value of your leads in your pipeline. It will start, there's a formula in there where it will start calculating for you the probability to close for each lead. So it gives you an estimate of how much money you're actually leaving on the table mm -hmm. by not following up with people in this way. And you're going to see what that number is. And what's really fun is when people kind of go, oh, wait, so I don't need to keep stressing about more leads. If I'm actually sitting on 43K, I need to really address this 43K that I'm sitting on, right? Mm -hmm. And so now we've just made, we've used data to make an intentional decision about where we're putting our time and our focus and our energy, which is everything. So yeah, yeah that's what we're gonna get into. Yeah, oh my God, I love it. Okay, one quick question would be, because I know I'm wondering this, so people are wondering this, do I need a special CRM system to be able to apply what you're teaching? Um, no, I, I have incorporated the training that I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this one sheet for you to play with and try. And you can actually use this sheet yourself if you want to, right? If you want to move your leads into the sheet where it calculates how much money you're sitting on, you can use it. You can also a lot of times incorporate the same principles into your CRM. So I um, use a particular CRM and I've incorporated this training. I've built it into the back end. And, and a, lot of, a lot of CRMs have some form of a pipeline. But if you understand that how you need to look at the pipeline, a lot of times you can figure out how to get okay. into So it's not going to matter if we're using Kajabi for our CRM or Attractwell or Get Oiling or uh, I'm trying to think of what our listeners are using, Active Campaign or Constant Contact. I think that's the other one, the other big one. So it's not going to matter which CRM system. We're going to be able to pull this information and plug it into the sheet. You can pull the information um, like Active, certain, one, certain CRMs that are really just email, they're not going to have the ability for you to build this in. So then I would just say, if you want to use my tool, it's going to make life easy um, and certain CRMs. And we can get into that in the discussion as well, which CRMs do allow for you to see a pipeline on the back end and see where gotcha. people are and what stage in the sales process they're in. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah. Perfect. So regardless of what you're using for email, come attend. And if you don't even have a CRM system, you're like, wait, wait, what? What is that again? What does that stand for? Come then definitely anyway. come. Then come. Yes, <laughs> definitely come. Because if you're trying to run a business without a CRM system, you are leaving so much money on the table. Can we say that for the people in the back? You're leaving so much money on the table. So yeah. this is going to be really, really valuable. Again, the link will be in the show notes and it will be in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Hello. Um, but the chrissychin.com forward slash access the experts. It's happening December 14th, 1 p.m. Eastern time with Sally. I'm actually going to be in Mexico. I'm so sad to miss this, but Claire's going to be running the show. Um, so it's going to be super exciting and I'm going to catch the replay there. So Sally, this is great. I cannot wait to see if you're out there listening right now, sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up, free to come live. Um, and and uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on the replay. So Sally, anything else that you want to share before we jump off of here that people need to know? No, I think it it, it will be fun. It will be eye opening because I've taught this many times. And it always there's always that reaction in the room of oh my God, I wasn't thinking about it this way, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it will be eye-opening and we will see where your money is sitting. And I imagine exciting because yeah. how cool is that to be uh, to see, oh my gosh, I have all of these people hanging out with me, a part of my community, and I can serve them so much deeper and also make money and it's all sitting here and I don't necessarily need new leads. Like you put the work in to get them there, let's 
let's dive into that a little bit deeper. And then also you can go get more leads. And because you have the system in place, you can really, you know, grab that money sooner and help them sooner on a deeper level because they'll be jumping into your programs or doing your coaching or whatever, um, whatever yeah, it is. So absolutely. All right, perfect. You, you, with, with this tool and with this awareness, all new leads that come into your world, you're going to be tracking them differently and you're going to be thinking about them differently, which is really powerful. Perfect. Love it. Sally, thank you for being here, for joining us, and we'll see you back on December 14th. Looking forward to it. Bye. I'll be back. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got some value out of this episode, I would love some support. And the best way to do that so I can keep showering you with loads of actionable tips is to hit that subscribe button, leave a review or a comment if you're on YouTube and share this podcast with a friend. And when you share it with a friend on social, please tag me so I can reshare your share in my stories. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out. I appreciate the heck out of you for showing up. And now it's time for you to take imperfect action so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more.